Hi guys, it's Granny Tanner speaking. Welcome to this FS22 mod review video. In this video I'll show you not only one mod, but several mods. You could call it a free DLC from Giants. Yes, from Giants themselves, they brought us the Burgo machines back. So Burgo was a is a big um, manufacturer from Canada that is specialized for huge machinery and we had um, DLC in FS19 with several Burgo machinery and those machines are back now for free in ModHub. You can download it. Don't uh, pay a penny and it works for consoles as well, as usual with Giants mods. And yeah, and those machines are huge. So I think this is wonderful for all those big field lovers that were very sad uh, about the first DLC with all these dwarf tractors. And now you got uh, yourself very big machines for free and you can dry your tears and start working on your huge fields if you have any. Okay, here we can see all the mods, new mods from today from Giants and they made a lot of improvements so there were a lot of updates too. Let's see here. Um, I guess they updated all their um, mods from FS22. It looked like it would be all. Maybe not all, but um, it for me it looks like a lot, a lot. And um, in the most of the models they added... Um, oh, I know, don't know the word. One moment. They added cables and tubes. They were missing and a lot of players were very sad and they said, oh, those Giants models are nice, but they don't have enough cables and uh, tubes and therefore I don't like them. And now there are a lot of cables and tubes and other improvements as well. But let's talk about the Burgo. So they are huge sewing machines or seeding machines and we have a huge cultivator and a huge harrow. Yeah, and then we got uh, three other new mods from Giants as well. The Lode King um, trailer is just another trailer, I would say. Some of you will be excited, but it's I think it's not something very special, but this um, plow is special because this plow is bigger than the other pl uh, plows we have in the game. And this is a wind rower with small, tiny uh, wind row rowy um, thingies. And it's eight meters. So this is nothing special, but it's a nice one. I like to use it in FS19. And as far as I know, those are all objects from FS19. This I used, and this sometimes, and this never. So from this I know, and the Burgo was a DLC. So first we can have a look here on the website and then we go in the game and have a look there. Yeah, it's quite expensive. This is the biggest one, the, the very, very impressive machine. And it costs um, 430,000 bucks, only the machine. And then we have the air card as well and there you put all your seeds and your fertilizer and you have to pay another 300,000 bucks more. But it has a working width of 30 meters and you need a tractor with 600 horsepowers. 
Yeah, and it has a capacity for your fertilizer and your seeds from of 45,000 liters. This is a lot. So, and here we are. Isn't it huge? I really had difficulties to um, connect them, to attach them inside the shop area. This was too small, much too small. So I had to bring them to the field separated and then I could uh, connect them. And the um, air card has a very special um, function for getting the seeds. Maybe we try with the second large. And it's really quite something <laughs> because here this is... Um, Ooh, what is this? Um, we have some others of those. Belt systems. It is um conveyor belt. I don't think this is a conveyor belt because it has nothing to do with belt, but maybe you call it conveyor belt. So I would call this conveyor belt and this. And for this we have a different name in German. So if you know the name of those pipes that convey stuff with the big screw inside, then tell me please. Okay, now we just use it. And I prepared this field. It's um, harvested wheat. And this machine can uh, make direct uh, seeding, so you don't need to cultivate it. And you can fertilize and seed in one go. But it's a huge go. And here we have one of those very best tractors. So I activate it and then down. And then we go. And this field seems tiny when you use this machine. Usually it's one of the, not the biggest field, but yeah, at least medium size. And here it really feels like tiny. But this is definitely the biggest seeder uh, we have in the game from giants, I mean. So, I don't know, maybe there are mods out with even larger ones, but when I think on base game and mods of giants, then this is the biggest one. And I really find it impressive. And it has a lot of wires and tubes. Here, as you can see, really a lot. And let's see, go out and this this thingy this is so important for a lot of players yeah and I always read in the Giants forum they said oh 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 the Giants models they are missing the cables and the tubes and yeah this machinery has this wires and cubes tubes everything very nicely connected different sizes wonderful and look <laughs> this is very impressive and I think that's very nice for all the big field players because I know there are a lot of people that were so sad because of the small tractors for the first DLC and yeah, I think this is good enough for drying up your tears. Wow. So, maybe we go to the shop and then we have a look at the brand here it is Burgo and 
this what we see is the last of the the drills here the biggest one and we have smaller ones as well so we have this teeny tiny one with only eight meters and it has the the tank attached like with other machines in this size so this is quite normal yeah and you can make direct seeding as well with without um prior cultivating yeah eight meters and you only need two f 240 uh, horsepower so you can use a medium-sized tractor for this this is for everybody who says oh no this is too big for me i have medium-sized fields then you can take this and here is the medium burgo stuff it is uh, 23 meters so this is not very much compared to the big one but it is i think it is the second largest of the game let's see here the cedar here we have quite some nice ones in the base game. So this is 15 meters and this 12 meters and 8 meters. So with um, 23 meters, it's much bigger than the biggest one of the base game. But compared to the, the really big one, it's only medium. And it needs an air card as well. So if you buy both of them, you pay more than half a million. Okay, yes, we have it with government subsidiary. Or if you play a lot, then you can uh, afford it. Maybe yeah, if you did a lot of forest forestry, then you can afford such a wonderful machinery. And here are others. This is the cultivator. And this is very nice. It's 12 meters. Yeah. And it's definitely not so shabby. But you only need 385 horsepower. So not the biggest tractor and it weights only 18 tons so compared to this one when you have seen this one everything else seems small and here we have a harrow and it's maximum uh, 27 meters working width and this is not so bad so with this it's bigger than the base game ones definitely and you can switch from smaller to bigger now it is the big size and here is the smaller size and yeah i would say it's only 4500 bucks more so if you want to go big then you take this one and that's it already um, with the Burgo. And we have some more new mods. This is here the Load King. And you have to be aware, it can't take everything that we are used uh, from the normal tipper trailers. Um, it can only carry grain stuff and seeds and fertilizer and it's um, 51.8 uh, thousand liters yeah and it's a truck trailer how do you say for such a thing in german we say Auflieger, but only people who have something to do with trucks say Auflieger. Everybody else would say Anhänger, which means trailer. And but the Auflieger is the special thing 
because you have to it lays on top of the truck somehow part of it yeah and therefore i ask myself whether uh, you in english have um different name our oh, semi semi trailer this is a word i hear very often from youtubers like dj goham also they always say semi trailer maybe that's the word and here we have this normal sized um wind rower with these teeny tiny wheels maybe this is good if you have to go on the road and travel far to your um, field <laughs> because sometimes when i go with my car and sometimes it happens that there is a tractor with a huge um wind rower the red one from kuhn that we had in fs19 so with a huge wheel on each side and there are all the sticks that um that are going out from it this working thingies here these ones and when you stand beside it on a road you think oh please don't come too close to me and this is uh, less intimidating i guess but only for um, for bystanders and here we have the plow this is impressive again this is the biggest plow that we have from giants until now it's six meter two and it needs uh, 360 horsepower so i think this is a good addition to the burgo uh, machinery yeah and then all the other giants mods or most of them updated yeah and i would say we can say thank you giants for this impressive mod dump of today and there were other mods as well today but i wanted to show you this um so called no, not so called uh, free dlc uh, from burgo because it's not called a dlc but in fact it is i would say yeah Okay, that's it for this video. I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and all the best. Till next time. Tschüss.